Hey, what's good, y'all? What's going on? It's Corner Sports Net. Do not forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment. Now, that was a heck of a Saturday. To me, that was a great Saturday. We had Jackson State. They won 35 to 21. They beat a good FAMU football team. I mean, it was a real good football game. It went down to like the last four minutes um, in the game. Jackson State was able to cause a fumble, pick up the fumble, score a touchdown to go up 28-21. Then they added another touchdown late. That's how they won the game. So shout out to Jackson State. Colorado. They probably played their most complete game of the season beating Arizona. Arizona had a bunch of injuries. They did. They had a bunch of injuries. But still, they played a complete game. They was able to run the ball. I think they had more rushing attempts than passing attempts. They just played a good football game. I mean, their defensive line, their defensive line was dominant. They had four or five sacks. So, congratulations to Colorado. Now, Travis Hunter, he won't win the Heisman Trophy. He's still bothered by that shoulder. So, he he's not going to win the Heisman Trophy. You can't win a Heisman Trophy if you're playing a couple quarters, maybe one and a half a football game. That shoulder injury is more serious than what they're telling us. No problem is that, nah, I'm going to give him the rest of the game off. Okay, that means his shoulder still bothering him. So you gotta you gotta manage that. You gotta nurse that. They're trying to get him to the to the finish line, to the bowl game. I see what Colorado's doing, and it makes sense. Forget that Heisman Trophy. Colorado got five wins down. Prime got there. They was one and eleven last year. They won four games. This year they won five games, and they're a better football team this year. They need one more one to get to a bowl game. One more. And then the Wolves can still have Deion Sanders back about how he runs his football program. Because you still got half the people wanting to win, half the people want him to lose. And shout out to uh, Shiloh Sanders. He bounced back and had a, he played a real good football game. But as far as that Heisman Trophy, that's probably going to go to Ashton Gentry. For one thing, their opponents are not the caliber of Colorado. He plays one side of the football game. The offense is geared around Ashton Gentry. As long as he stays healthy, he's going to gain 24, 2,500 yards. He's going to win the Heisman Trophy. You can't talk about Carson Beck. He's not going to win the Heisman. Cam Ward, he keeps putting up great numbers. But I think it's Aston Gentry's Heisman to lose. Only because Travis Hunter is going to play less uh, snaps for the rest of the season. Colorado keeps winning. They want to keep Travis healthy. You never know. With a little bit of luck, uh, Colorado can mess around and be playing for the conference championship. So Deion Sanders is trying to keep Travis Hunter healthy. By the way, Colorado's 5-2 and two and Jackson State is 5-2. I'm going to throw that out there. They're both having good seasons. Travis Hunter, great football player. He will not play both ways full-time in the NFL. Travis Hunter was hurt at Jackson State. Travis Hunter was hurt as a sophomore at Colorado. Travis Hunter is now hurt again as a junior at Colorado. The NFL is a grown man league. They got mortgages. They got, they got dogs. They got three, four kids they got to take care of. Some of them got baby mothers they paying a bunch of child support too. Some of them players got wives and girlfriends they paying mortgages too and rents too and car notes. It's a totally different league. They taking care of their mama. They taking care of their father. NFL players take it crazy serious. They don't be making friends with all their teammates hanging out all the time. It's a grown man league. It's a job. Travis Hunter's a great player. But no way he can play 170 plays 
or 17 to 1800 plays a year on the NFL level. No man is built for that. No man. He's a great football player. He'll have packages where he plays a little bit on probably offense and be that shutdown corner in the NFL. Now, Travis might want to play wide receiver more because he can make more money after three, three seasons when he renegotiates his contract. But believe me when I say this, an NFL coach is going to say, no, you're going to play mostly corner. Or no, you're going to play mostly wide receiver and we'll create some packages for you. So once he gets to that league and he's playing, they're going to decide where he plays most of the time. Wherever he's more effective, wherever he's more effective at corner or wide receiver, NFL team, that's where they're going to play him more. Now, Travis is a, is a natural cornerback. He's a real good wide receiver, too. You can't lose with a Travis Hunter. But no way he's playing the entire game in the NFL. Now, Alabama lost again. Alabama, they're not built like that. They're a good football team, but if Jalen Melrose doesn't play lights out and put up Heisman Trophy-type numbers every week, they're going to lose. Now, remember, they still got LSU on the schedule. They still got Auburn on the schedule. They might lose three or four football games. Jokers do not fear Alabama. They don't. And they still can't run the ball like they should, like they used to. Shout out to my New York Yankees. They're in the World Series. Man, they better find $600 million for uh, Juan Soto. We'll take at least $600 million to resign him. And Gina Carlos Stanton, he's, he's the new Reggie Jackson. He's the new Mr. October. So now I got to see what the Dodgers do with the Mets. Game six today. See if they advance and give the world what they want to see, a Dodger-Yankee World Series. Now, before I go, before I leave, the Indiana Hoosers, they serious with their football. They blew out Nebraska, 56 to seven. They dominated Nebraska. They serious, they might win the Big Ten. Shout out to Army and Navy, they continue to win games. Navy plays Notre Dame next week. I'm anxious to see that game. I'm definitely going to watch that game. Look, I'm going to let you guys later. It's Corner Sports Nut. And, of course, we all know that Georgia beat up on Texas. Leave comments.